This is a medium-sized ball head. It's not as big as this, and it's certainly not as small as this. I think this hits the sweet spot for most of us, and it's got a hilarious name. Mambili. Full disclosure, I got this for free from Mambili after they watched my review of a video head from Ulansi. Mambili thinks that this product is up to scrutiny and would offer a better value than the competition. If you never heard about Mambili before, that's because they haven't really used YouTubers in the past to review the products. But since I've got over 40 subscribers on this channel, of course they couldn't resist reaching out to me. Anyway, I say what I want here and have no problems complaining if I find something that I don't like. Size and weight wise, this Mambili ball head is comparable to the Ulansi video head. But this is a video head and I mainly shoot video, therefore I actually prefer this type of camera attachment. The ball head however does have some tricks up its sleeve and can actually do something that this video head cannot do. First, what's in the box? Quite a lot actually. There is the ball head itself, a mobile phone holder, two adapter screws, great if you lose one of them, and also two Arca Swiss type plates, which is also great if you quickly want to switch between cameras. That's more stuff in the box than usual, and that's usable stuff too. The second positive is that there is a two-less screw here, which I absolutely prefer over having to fiddle with a hex key. A small thing, but that makes life so much easier. The build quality is great overall. It's machined aluminium for the most part, with high quality rubber parts in the right places. The ball itself is of decent size, and personally I don't need to go any bigger than this for my full frame camera. Once tightened, nothing is going anywhere. It feels very secure, and that's of course miles better than this piece of sh I find these two knobs confusing though. One of them is a friction screw, and the other one should lock the ball head. I don't know which is which, even after a couple of months of use. They also seem to do about the same thing, so I don't really know which difference there is between the two functions. The movement isn't 100% smooth, but it's smooth enough in my mind for being a ball head. Anyway, once secured, I have nothing to complain about. There are two other knobs, here and here, which are a bit more intuitive. This one is for panning, so in a way it can be used for video. There's also an indicator up here, which is handy to some, I guess. The panning is smooth, but the handle is too short for longer lenses, which leads me into some negatives. The handle is good for positioning the ball head, and I sort of get that, it's a ball head and not a video head. The problem is that it's straight and can be in the way both when taking photos, but also when putting the ball head in a small camera bag. I wish it was easily removable and bent, like the Ulansi handle. You can remove the handle with a small hex key, so that's a good thing, I guess, if you don't feel the need for it. I mean, if you're only taking static shots and don't use the panning action, it's better to not have it there at all. Yeah, this last knob is for removing the Arca Swiss plate. Good thing with these stops to prevent the accident, and it's got nice rubber here too. And I cannot enough emphasize how pleased I am with having this tool-less screw. Right, so there's a level indicator here as well. I personally don't use these, but I guess they're good for something. A rough estimate, maybe, for the leveling. Now to the party trick of this ball head, and it's this little thing. It makes panning from this part possible, and that enables something that most video heads cannot do. If you tilt the camera, you can now pan in whatever axis you want. I don't know how useful this is in real life, but I'm thinking maybe this can be used for product shots. This opens up my creative side, and I will make a video later on how to make decent product shots using this ball head or a video head, a tripod, and this small little stick. I'll link to that video here somewhere. I will probably use a video head than a ball head in the future, since I'm mostly doing video work. But I will use this too. It will be permanently attached to a tripod that I use for more static shots and for product shots. It's great value for money, and I wouldn't hesitate to buy anything else from Manly. Man Billy. I put that brand in the same ballpark as Ulansi and other Chinese camera gear manufacturers. I think we will hear more from Man Billy 
in the future.